Guys, Coland has done it again. Tonight, the Kelowna Rockets faced off against the Lethbridge Hurricanes over there in Lethbridge, Alberta, the NMAX Center. And this game, spoiler alert, it was a 4-3 overtime victory for the Kelowna Rockets. The first star of this game was the goaltender of Lethbridge, Reese Klassen. He was phenomenal in this game just based off of the numbers, 49 shots against, 45 saves, he was an absolute monster. But the second star of this game was none other than our boy Cole Lind. And the reason Cole Lind got this star, well, I can give you the reason here. Let's go over the box score of this game. The first goal of this game was scored by Caden Korksak and the assists go to Jack Cowell and Cole Lind. The second Kelowna goal scored in this game, it was from Lind. His 23rd of the season, assist from Torinsky and foot that was on the power play. The third goal scored by the Kelowna Rockets was Torinsky again. This time it was assisted by Cole Lind and Nolan Foot. And the final goal of the game, scored in overtime, was scored by Cole Lind. The game-winning goal. This means that Cole Lynn's game tonight was two goals, two assists, four points against the Lethbridge Hurricanes. That's awesome. But you know what else is awesome? Let's go to January 20th. The Kelowna Rockets versus the Victoria Royals. This one was also a pretty good game. It was an 8-4 win for the Rockets. And Cole Lind, he didn't get himself a star in this game. He wasn't a star. There were three stars of the game. They were all Kelowna Rockets, but none of them were Cole Lind. Why not? Well, I don't know. But what I do know is that looking at this score sheet, in this game on January 20th against the Victoria Royals in an 8-4 home victory for the Rockets, Cole Lind, he got himself one goal and three assists. So... On eight total goals scored by the Rockets, Cole Lind had a hand in half of them. In the most recent game tonight against the Hurricanes, Cole Lind had a hand on all of them. Four goals for the Rockets, four points for Cole Lind. Eight points in his last two games, and that is an even distributed four points per game with a total of three goals and five assists in that span of time. It's only been four days. And two games pass, he's already at eight points. This is an incredible point-scoring streak that he's on that's been going on over since December 9th. This is the same point streak that I'm talking about that I mentioned in the previous video talking about a Cole Lind point streak. And this one is a good one, guys. Spanning back over to December 12, Cole Lind is at a whopping 12 goals, 20 assists and 32 overall points. This, in the past 16 games, spanning back to December 9th, Cole Lind is at 32 points. He's at two points a game on this incredible run that he's going on. And granted, eight of those 32 points have come in the last two games, but you can't deduce anything from the success that he's having right now. Cole Lind, after missing all this time with the World Juniors training camp and the mono that he suffered from. Cole Lind is now at a whopping 66 points in 38 games. This is good enough to put him at 11th in WHL scoring, tied for 10th with Justin Almeida and Giorgio Estefan. So, What's so special about that? Well, Cole Lind, he's got this in 38 games. The other guys who are tied with him, they've got 48 games played and 46 games played respectively, while Cole Lind is still down there at 38. So, yeah, by default, he's 10th in the WHL in scoring. And you know what's great about that? You know what's great about Cole Lind being 10th in WHL scoring? This is great because guess who's tied for 18th in WHL scoring. Wait for it, wait for it. You guys might be able to tell. Maybe from the title. I don't know. I might have slipped it in somewhere. Vegas Golden Knights prospect Cody Glass is tied for 19th in WHL scoring as he has 63 points, 25 goals, 38 assists in 42 games played. Cole Lind, 66 points, 24 goals, 42 assists, 38 games played. So, taking a look at the points, okay, 
Lind, he's got a three-point lead on Cody Glass in four less games. Okay, that's awesome. But, you know, you know, it's the WHL, which means that there are a lot of bad goaltenders, and there's a lot of really skilled players. There's probably a lot of guys in Cole Lind's team getting a lot of goals and everything, right? He's got a lot of assists. Okay, let's go with just goals. How does Cole Lind fare in goals compared to Cody Glass? Cole Lind is actually tied for 21st in WHL goals with four other players, but they've all played more games than Lind, so automatically Lind is better than those guys. He's got 24 goals. Okay, 38 games. Cody Glass, where is he? He's 20th. Cody Glass has 25 goals in 42 games played, He's 20th in the WHL in goals. Cole Lind is right behind him. 21st. 24 goals in 38 games. Man, it's incredible. Because Cole Lind right now is legitimately being a better player, statistically speaking, than Cody Glass. And I know that a lot of people out there are going to look at the numbers and they're going to look at the draft rankings and they're going to see things and say, oh, Cody Glass, he was taken sixth overall. That's awesome. He's a good player. Oh, look at these numbers that he's putting up in the WHL. These are pretty good. But then they see Cole Lind and they see, oh, he's drafted in the second round. Oh, he won't be too good. But then you look at the numbers and you're like, yo, Cole Lind is neck and neck with Cody Glass. And it's not even that Cole Lind has really spectacularly booster kind of players around him either. If anything, that's Cody Glass. Cody Glass is tied for first in points on his team with Skylar McKenzie. Then the third and fourth placed players, Kiefer Bellows and Dennis Chalowski, they're both at 47 points, with Bellows actually being at that mark in 34 games played. Wow, he's incredible. Statistically speaking, Glass has really good players around him. And if we go over to the Kelowna Rockets and look at who's leading their team in points, Cole Lind is first with 66. Okay, who's second? Carson Twarinski. How many does he got? 52. Kyle Topping is down there with 47. Dubé with 30 games played is at 45. So Cole Lind really is the star of the Rockets right now. And it's not even that he is the best player there because obviously Dubé and Foote are really good as well and they got put in the World Juniors for a reason. Cole Lind is just the Rockets right now. And that's solidified with the game tonight. Four goals by the Rockets, all four of them were Cole Lind points. What about the game before that? Eight goals for the Rockets, half of them were Cole Lind points. Eight points in the last two games for this young prospect taken in the second round. Why isn't anyone taking Cole Lind? Well, it's because other teams don't see the value in this player. And he was projected to go in the first round. Maybe like the late 20s or whatever. But Vancouver, oh, he, he got away with robbery, man. Cole Lind is the next Vancouver Canucks steal here. At least, he's on pace to be. Of course, we don't necessarily know if any player out of the first round, or any player in the first round, any player in the draft in general, is going to make an impact at the NHL level. But based off of history, and probability, and expectations and growth and all of those things, Cole Lind is looking to be a very, very strong player. And I'm excited. I don't want to rush him though. Please, let's just not rush him. And for those saying, why do you keep on comparing him to Cody Glass? Uh, well, okay, I think it's kind of obvious why we're comparing him to Cody Glass. I think it lies within the fact that that when the Canucks were picking 5th overall, there was a really strong belief that we would pick Cody Glass. Elias Pettersson, the guy that we ended up taking, he was projected to go like ninth, and Cody Glass was right there, and I think a lot of Vancouver Canucks fans were thinking, yep, I'd be okay with Glass, I want Glass because he is, he's big and strong and he's good and he's Canadian and everything. People really did seem to like Cody Glass now, didn't they? So, when we passed up on Cody Glass and instead we took the Swedish guy, I'm pretty sure there were a lot of Canucks fans who were saying, oh, what if we took Cody Glass? And for sure, none of us are saying that now because Elias Pettersson is really proving himself to be a phenomenal player. Literally, like, people are comparing this guy to Forsberg. That's awesome. But the fact that we were able to get Elias Pettersson as well as Cole Lind in the second round Cole Lind, who is a player that is arguably better than Cody Glass. Cole Lind, who is a player who is arguably better than the player that we were thinking about getting in that fifth overall position. Isn't this just better? Let's assume that Cody Glass 
isn't as good as Cole Lind. Let's assume Blind is better than Glass, and he has a better career than Glass, both in the WHL and the NHL. What does that mean? That means that the 2017 NHL entry draft was fantastic, because with our fifth overall selection, we chose the Swede, who is better than Forsberg, instead of Cody Glass. And in the second round, we took a player who is literally better than Cody Glass, if we're going by this fictional scenario that I'm running through right now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why everybody is comparing Cole Lynn to Cody Glass, because, well, they've got similar bodies, they play in the WHL, and they're both neck and neck. They've been neck and neck this whole season in terms of points and goals and points per game and everything, and Cole Lind is now, finally, getting a huge push in that race. Granted, 8 points in 2 games, 4 points per game, that's very unsustainable, but it happened. So why not get excited? Why not get excited about this? Because this is fun. I love it, guys. And I'm just excited. That's it. I should probably go to bed. It's almost 11. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. To your positive, that's your trolls like that's your saying. Gaming and bye.